Welcome to Scrapbook My Life, where I tell you an embarrassing story to save you from making the same embarrassing mistakes I did. The summer before seventh grade, I had a growth spurt. Suddenly, all of my jeans looked like weird pirate pants. Thankfully, mom agreed to take me shopping. When we got to the mall, a woman wearing all black walked up to my mom and me. She said, I'm a casting director working on a TV commercial. We're looking for cute kids just like your daughter. Would she be interested in auditioning? My mom looked at me. I jumped up and down. Yes, yes. I was so excited. They wanted to put me on TV. I was gonna be a star. Goodbye, boring, normal life. Hello, Hollywood. My mom basically couldn't say no. The woman gave me a script to read and asked me to bring a special talent of my choice. I chose dancing, since I had been taking tap recently and was getting pretty good. On the day of the big audition, my mom dropped me off at an office building. As soon as I arrived, I was brought into a big room. There was a long table with the director and a few other adults. They asked me to say my lines. I cleared my throat. <coughs> When's dinner? I'm hungry, I said, giving my most serious read. They loved it. They said I had made it to the second round, called a callback. The callback waiting room had a weird mood. All of the kids waiting were my age, but they seemed so adult. They wore so much makeup. They had special printed actor photos, and they kept bossing around their moms and dads like their parents worked for them. One girl kept yelling, Mom, where are my props? Mom! I started to get really nervous. I wasn't a real actor compared to these kids. I was just some tap dancing amateur from the mall. Then the director called me in. For the second round, she asked to see my special talent. I started to tap dance, but I couldn't remember any of the steps in my routine. Um, uh, I stalled. The director could tell I was blowing it. That's okay, sweetie, she said, and showed me out of the room. I was so embarrassed. I wanted to cry. I'd never be a star. My dreams of fame and fortune were far behind me. To make matters worse, my mom said she'd pick me up at 3.30. It was only 3.15. I had to wait in the room with the actor kids who must have known I'd bombed. I walked over to the vending machine and bought myself a chocolate bar. Then I heard, hey, can I get a bite of that? I looked up to see one of the actor girls. My mom doesn't let me have chocolate, and I've never had one of those. Seriously? I said. I gave her a bite, and she loved it. As I shared the bar with her, I learned that she not only never went to school because she was constantly working on film sets, she also barely had any friends. I kind of pitied her. My mom picked me up, and as I landed back in the driveway at home, I saw my neighbor Drew. He asked if I wanted to play in my favorite basketball game, horse. I forgot all about the audition and joined him. Suddenly, my regular life looked pretty cool. I had friends, I didn't have to work, and my mom let me eat chocolate. No, I didn't get the part, and I didn't become a famous actress, but I learned that my normal, sometimes boring life was exactly the life so many kids wish they had and I was really grateful. <laughs>